the DJI Osmo Pocket. Holy crow! Hi, I'm Arnie, and this is Arnie Jacobson TV, where we talk travel, camera gear, and tech. Hi, if you're new here and you're into any of that stuff, why don't you consider clicking that big red subscribe button down below? And don't forget, click the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we put up new content. I cannot get over how small the Osmo Pocket is now that I have it in my hand, so to speak. Well, that little sequence gives you a real good idea of what the Osmo Pocket looks like. It truly is a remarkable device. Now, I've only had this a few days. I actually got it as a Christmas gift. So I haven't had a lot of chance to uh, use it extensively yet, but I am looking forward to that. So everything that you see from here on out is going to be recorded on this and either uh, 4K 30 frames per second or 4K 60 frames per, se <laughs> per second. What do you say? Should we give it a shot? Let's get going. All right, so from here on out, everything is being shot on the Osmo Pocket. I have it set right now at 4K 30 frames per second. Some of these shots will be at 4K 60 frames per second. Left everything on auto, as I think that's what most people are going to um, use it at, most consumers. So that means that the ISO, shutter speed, what have you, are all left up to the device to figure out. Now, one of the things I'm immediately finding that I like is that little screen on the front. It allows me to kind of frame, make sure that I'm in the, in the frame. And at 4K and 30 frames per second, the face tracking is on when I'm in selfie mode. So that's also very, very cool. So one of the things you should be aware of is that the Osmo Pocket has two microphones. So with any luck at all, you're gonna be able to hear me very clearly. Now, after all, sound quality sound is as important as good picture quality. So I've spent a little bit of time now walking around with the Osmo Pocket and so far I am as happy as a pup with two tails. <laughs> the stabilization works great and suits my needs perfectly. Now we've taken some shots at a nearby park, wandered around there a little bit. It wasn't a bad day. Um, went down the road a little bit and shot some footage of my car and uh, this place, uh, the teapot gas station, and finally a little bit of footage inside the local mall, just so you can get a feel for what the performance is like in a 
variety of different se settings. All right, so after having shot for a little while, I think you'll agree after looking at the footage that the quality is really quite good. I mean, it's more than suitable, more than suitable for the average consumer who's going to use this to document their life, document their vacations, birthdays, what have you. And its diminutive size means it's not going to, you know, stand out when they're out and about. That is worth its weight in gold. Just as a reminder, I shot fully automatic. Didn't change a thing. 4K 30 and 4K 60. With That means that the camera set the ISO, shutter speed, and white balance because I think that's the way a vast majority of people are going to use this device. Now there's a lot more to this camera than I've shared with you in this brief introduction so make sure that you tune in for follow-up videos where I go into much more detail about all the great things this camera has to offer. So make sure that you click that subscribe button down below and the bell icon so you'll be notified when I put those follow-ups on to the YouTube. So what's my favorite thing about this? Well, there's a lot, but I think the size, it might be my favorite thing. It's so, so diminutive. It's, it, it goes unnoticed as you're walking around. I, as I was walking around in the mall with, with it, Nobody knew I had a camera in my hand, unlike when I was, if I used my 6500 on a gimbal or something, or, you know, you just feel so awkward with it because people are staring at you. So the size probably is my favorite thing. In fact, I, I have a, a Moza Air that I fly my 6500 on. <sighs> And I hardly ever use it because it's such a hassle. In fact, I'm really considering selling it. So <laughs> keep your eye out for that one. All right. So you're probably saying, well, Arnie, what's the conclusion? What are your thoughts? I say this is a definite keeper. I love, I love that it's so small, so unobtrusive. Um, you know, it's even less noticeable than using a cell phone. You, could, you see people holding the cell phone up in front of them. Everybody notices that. This thing, not so much. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't going to replace my Sony a6500. Um, it's certain, that certainly still has its place, but boy, I can see myself using this so much of the time. As I mentioned earlier, in future videos, I'm going to dive into this more in depth, give uh, some more tips about how to use it and some of the little features, accessories that are available. Uh, I've got a couple coming already. There are, there are a ton of them already being offered by third party um, manufacturers, I guess you'd say. They're doing... Um, 3D printing things. It, it's just amazing. Anyway, hey, if you like this kind of content, why don't you click that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. Have you used this yet? Are you, have you ordered it? Are you excited about getting it? Um, there are a ton of videos on this product already. I'm a little late to the game, but uh, Anyway, so if you like this kind of stuff, remember, subscribe, thumbs up, share, comment, all of that. Thanks for stopping by. We do appreciate it.